Um, I was turning from Harrison to 9th Street when three people come running around the corner and just came to my car. All three of them were trying to get in. One got in the back seat. One was trying to get in the driver's seat with a gun, pointing it at me. And I just kept whacking at the barrel and not letting him. And he kept trying to open my door. And he finally opened it, tried to yank me out. And I just kept fighting him the whole time, right? And then finally I got back into the car because he almost had me out. I jumped back in and I started to make the turn. And I realized there's a person still in my car. And I just told him, get out, you know. And they jumped out, but they tried to carjack me and I didn't let him do it. It was kind of crazy having a gun pointed in your face, but you're not taking my car. And they uh, they hit you too, right? Yeah. All right, how are you doing? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. All right, and then uh, you had some advice for some of the other drivers about keeping the doors locked and all that? Windows up, doors locked, and you never know who's going to come at your car at any time of the night. I guess it's nighttime that this is only going to happen when the streets are empty and it's not a whole lot of people. You're going to pull up to a light and they're going to surprise you like they tried on me. But it didn't work out. I guess I was a little bit, I guess, bold by not fearing their gun and not, you know, it's like you're going to shoot, you're going to shoot, you ain't getting my car. 